Now we've taken a look at the method of joints and the method of joints is really really good if you want to say start at some sort of unknown uh, or start where the known is and from there you can imagine we can use that information to find the tension here and then you can use that information to find the tension here and then uh, I mean there's really no further way to go but you kind of move from one area you get the knowns in one joint and then you just move to all the other joints however there's a we don't always need to know every single force member instead sometimes we might have a very simple type of question that looks at only I only need to know say the force in one section so let's say that was this we change our original setup and instead of saying that uh, we'll, we'll draw the same um, actually let's let's just go back we'll stick with our original drawing but take a look at the things in red all right instead of me giving you the force tension is 400 newtons and 45 degrees instead I'm gonna say that the force of the tension we'll keep that the same is 400 newtons but now I'm gonna say that the height is 10 meters and that is from here to here okay and then I'm gonna say that this distance right here is two meters from here to here and what I'm going to ask you for is what is the force in this cable right here this cable down here what is the force now we can't do our method of joints we'd have to or we could do our method of joints rather we would figure out what's going on here move to force of C and then figure out what's going here but there's something easier we can do the beauty of a free body diagram is we choose the body so let's pretend instead that we're gonna change what the body looks like let's say here's our body it's just a square we don't even care what's happening in the square we're gonna write down what we know about what's happening in that square mainly there's a force right here here's our force of T and this is where the post goes into the ground we're just gonna say it's pivoting about that point and then we're gonna say that there's a force here I think we called it FL and if we say that this is two meters this is 10 meters then we can sum the moments or sum the torques to zero and that is going to be 10 times the force force T minus 2 force L and if we run those numbers that's basically a, a lever ratio of 5 that's going we're looking at 2,000 newtons So take a look at what I did. I looked at this overall drawing and I only wanted to look at one component of it. Another way that I could have done it, or another way of seeing the same thing is, geez, let's, let's choose a color we haven't done yet. Let's try orange. Is I'm going to cut one of these members and I'm gonna say this is now an external force that I have to figure out and I'm gonna keep all the other members where they are so I'm gonna cut a member right here and as a matter of fact I could probably cut it this way so we have a full cut there's no forces going back and forth on the ground um, but we can see that we have a force going we're turning one of the internal forces into an external force by cutting and choosing the free body diagram appropriately if we do this this is called the method of sections method of sections allows us to look at to choose through careful use of a free body diagram allows us to choose which components we already know and which singular components we want to find out um, you'll get examples of this I'll, pro I'll, I'll try and run some examples right after this video to give you an idea of how that works so you can see it more fully thanks a lot and I hope this gives you a little bit of a feel of 
how the method of sections is similar to the work that we've already done. So it's not something drastically new, but it's another tool that allows us to do increasingly complex shapes. Thank you and we'll see you next time around.